haul. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and today we are finally starting this bathroom makeover. I am so excited. I've been thinking about this for probably a year now, maybe even my whole life. I have spent the last year transforming every single bedroom on this top floor of my parents' house and now I need to move on to the bathroom. This needs a lot of help in here. This is a 90s builder grade bathroom. It's been this way for probably 25 years now, so it really needs a makeover. I'm gonna be actually challenging myself to do this makeover for under $400. It might even be for under $300, but we'll see how it goes. I'm giving myself a little bit of wiggle room and pushing it to four, but I really wanted to show you guys how you can transform your space without spending thousands of dollars. We are going to be transforming the walls, the countertop, the hardware, the vanity, the floors, the shower, maybe even the door. So there's gonna be a lot of changes in here and I can't wait to show you guys. So I hope this video can help you and encourage you to do little transformations on your bathroom to make a really big difference because that's what this is gonna be. Little things that go a really long way. But anyways, today is painting day. I'm going to be transforming these walls and taking this beige off. We are going to be painting these walls a crisp white. I'm picking the Ultra Pure White by Bear. I usually go for more of a warmer tone white, but in a bathroom like this, I want the white to really go with the sinks and the bathtub and just brighten everything up. If you guys are excited to see this whole makeover come to life, give this video a big thumbs up right now and let's go ahead and get painting. So as you can see, I have all of the edges already taped up with my frog tape. It's my favorite kind of painter's tape. I'm going around all the edges and corners as well as removing the electrical plates and this medicine cabinet door. I'm no longer going to be having the door on here. I want to have more of an open shelving area so I'm just filling these holes that the hinges were on and letting that dry before I paint over it and that will just give like a smooth open shelving kind of look over there and then going ahead and painting every single wall. I ended up having to use two coats of paint to cover the bathroom and painting a bathroom is definitely more difficult than a bedroom. There's so many things to go around in tiny little corners but it ended up looking great. All right, so today I decided I'm gonna be painting all the trim white. Just when you see all this, it's very bright. And then when the floor is done and the vanity's painted, this trim is just gonna really bother me. So I'm going around today painting all of this. There's really not that much of it. And then for the door, I'll paint the trim white, but I'm still deciding on what I wanna do with the door. It's either gonna go all white, so it'll just be clean, or I will pick an accent color, maybe something that will go off of what the vanity's gonna be and it'll be like a nice highlight door, maybe change the knob, but for now, we will get all of the little trim pieces done. Now, I'm really excited to start picking paint colors for the vanity. So I have all of these ones here, and as you can see, I wanna kinda go after a blue-gray color, especially because I picked this floor sample, so. I didn't mention this earlier, but I'm gonna be doing peel and stick floor tiles on these floors. And this is just one of the samples that came in. They are from Floor Pops and I got a pack of 10 12 by 12 tiles for $11. So I got about four or five packs to do this entire floor. I love this idea because, you know, you can kind of cover up your flooring, but if you don't like it or you wanna change it, you can just peel it off. So that is amazing. But aren't these just so cool? They come in all these trendy patterns and it's literally just a big sticker. Like this is so sticky and yeah, you can just remove them. So I think this is a really cool way of getting a nice looking flooring for way less. And now that I see this down here with the white walls, I kind of want to do something a little more bold on the cabinets here. And then I also just ordered on Amazon some new knobs and pulls to replace all of those. So I'm going with silver because we are keeping the original faucets. I know they're not the nicest thing, but this is a budget makeover and I'm doing what I can to make it all look nice together. So I spent a lot of time at Home Depot yesterday looking at paint colors, thinking I was gonna decide on something. And I ended up bringing back like literally every single paint chip in the store and just staring at them in the bathroom all night. So I think I have the one that I want to choose. I stuck these two options up on the cabinets yesterday and in store I found a vanity that was this color and I really liked it, but when I brought it back here, it's just a little boring and like just too dark for me. 
I actually really like this one. It's called Mountain Pine. If you can imagine cabinets being dark like that, and then the door is more of a sage green. Okay, I just got that from Home Depot with all my paint that I need for the vanity, and my wall pop flooring just came in. I'm so excited. I haven't even taken off my jacket yet because I'm so excited to see them. Wow, okay, so I have all five packages here. Look at these tiles. This is so cool. One package was $11, and I think it's usually maybe like 13 or 14, but I found a coupon code online from someone and I used it. So I got an extra like 15% off or something. We gotta get moving in here. I feel encouraged and excited now. Now moving on to the vanity makeover. The first thing I need to do is remove all of the hardware. So that's all of these pulls, the hinges and the knobs. It looks a little more daunting than it is. Trust me, you just unscrew it and it pops right off. So I'm just collecting all of these parts. The knobs are super easy. You just twist them off and I'm putting them all in a Ziploc bag just in case I wanna use them in the future and then I'm sanding down the entire unit just to really rough it up I'm just using a 120 grit sandpaper block and yeah then taking off all of these doors I'm taping on the screws that attach all the hinges on the back just so I don't lose them and starting off with the paint so look how beautiful this mountain pine color is it looks so good painted on these cabinets so I'm just going around all of the drawers because I can't remove the drawers and I'm just painting all the edges and then filling them all in it's actually not that difficult at all and this went by really really quickly and then for the cupboard doors I'm putting them on cups so that they're off the ground and I can get all of the edges and rolling them out with my foam roller again doing all the edges and getting in all the crevices it would be a lot easier on more of like a shaker style cabinet but these are a lot more detailed and have a lot of edges but the color and finish looks amazing on these I would do this a hundred times again it was so so simple So it's the next day. I've waited overnight for all of my doors and full vanity to dry. Now I'm going to be putting all of the doors back on and attaching my new hardware. So this is way more modern. It matches our faucets over there. So I wanted to really like bring everything together and have all the same metals happening. So those will be the knobs and these will be the poles for the doors. And they were such a good price. I think I got five of these pulls for $13 and I think I got like, I don't know, 12 of these for 13. So really good price. So let's go ahead and put everything back together. Make sure before you order any hardware, you get the right size. These are three inch pulls, which means the center to center mark of the screw holes is three inches apart. So make sure you measure that before you get some new hardware. Also another option, if you don't wanna get brand new hardware like this and you wanna salvage your old ones, you can always spray paint them and refinish them into a different finish. That's always a good option, but look at the difference this makes. I love how modern it made this cabinet look. So now it honestly makes the sink look better because it used to be kind of an eyesore and just stand out and not look right. But now that it all kind of matches, it kind of works together and it's less of an eyesore. So that was definitely a good idea. A lot of you guys are probably wondering what the heck are we gonna do with this counter because it looks brown now. We are going to be covering it with my handy dandy marble contact paper. I have never used this before, but I just tried it out on this little piece here and it totally brightens up the bathroom. Look at that. It's finally the look that I want and that's gonna go all the way across the counter and it kind of just gives you a temporary solution. It's really smooth and it just is so much brighter. So I'm just gonna unstick it to show you guys how easy it is to take off. Plus I'm gonna start all again so I have one whole seamless look. But look how sticky this is. It's such a great solution for covering something. Look at that. It's actually pretty hard to get off, but also simple and doesn't rip or anything. Wow, it is super strong. 
So as I mentioned, my plan was to roll this entire strip down the countertop and have a seamless look, but I did find it very difficult to do this all on my own, so I think this is definitely a two-person job. I end up having to cut a seam right down the middle of the counter to, I don't know, better manage it. It was easier to work in smaller pieces, but I do think this contact paper is amazing for finishing countertops. It gave this bathroom a whole new look. It's wipeable, it's durable, and when it no longer lasts, I can take it off and redo the whole thing. This literally only cost $30 and it totally changed everything. No more brown countertops. I finally have the look I want. I cannot get over this. Okay, now that I'm seeing this horrible shower curtain with those cute little shower rings, this needs to go now. So we're gonna change that out right now with a new shower curtain. I might do an entire shower makeover, maybe in another video where I totally transform that as well on a budget. But for now, we're just gonna hang a new shower curtain, brighten all this up, and that will look so much better. Now just finishing off the countertop by caulking all the edges. This really gives a seamless look and makes the countertop look really real. So I definitely recommend doing this if you're using contact paper and look how amazing that looks around the sink. Now onto the floors. These floors are the original ones that were always here. So I've never seen any other flooring in this bathroom. Um, the only thing that's really making them look old is like the brown grout. So if that was white, that would definitely freshen things up in here. So if you do have tile that looks like this, one option would be to just freshen up all the grout. You can go around with like a white stick and white all of that out or try these floor pops. And I'm just gonna experiment with these, see how they go, see how they look. And they do have a thickness to them as well, so it's not just like a little sticker. They're actually really thick and durable. So I'm gonna place these all around the floor and see what that looks like, cause I'm kind of like torn. Do I do it? Do I not do it? This would drastically change everything, so I might just go for it and experiment with them. So you can check out different patterns they have, but I'll try them out for you guys, be the guinea pig for all of you, and see if they work out. So I'm just starting out by laying down all the tiles to figure out where they're gonna go, and I have all of my tools ready, scissors, X-Acto knife, cutting board, a pen, and that's gonna help me make all of my cuts around all of these edges. So the beginning ones were definitely a little harder to get started, just because I wanted to have one strip going across that was perfectly lined up so I did all of my cuts based off of the back sheet that you take off of the adhesive that way it's the same size as the tile you can kind of lay it down draw out where your cuts need to be and then you can make them on your tile to fit perfectly so once I got that first row going it was so simple just to lay all of them down peel and stick and press and it looked amazing so I just did this all the way down it's a very repetitive job but so so simple especially on a bathroom like this where it's just a long rectangle and then the toilet space i was a little worried about going around the toilet i thought it would be a little more difficult but it really wasn't you just kind of draw out a shape on your tile to cut around and just keep making it bigger and bigger as you go until it fits that's the way i did it because i kind of eyeballed it and it worked out great so it was very easy to go around the toilet and finish this tile job off so quickly um, can you even believe these floors right now? <laughs> I am like freaking out. This looks so good. This was my little cutting center, but wow, that was like the easiest thing ever. I should have done this so long ago. It almost looks like I painted the floors with like a stencil. It's so smooth too and they're all even and there's no grout so it kind of like looks cleaner honestly. I'm gonna leave these down below in the description box. This is not sponsored by the way. This was like fully me testing out a product and like it's amazing. Another way to make these floors look even better is just by caulking all the edges around your trim and the bathtub. It just gives a really seamless look. I know a lot of you guys wanted to see a new light fixture in here but this one is staying for now. We will switch that up at a later date. I'm at least gonna make all the light bulbs have the same light color coming from them. So I'm switching them all to be warm white. 
as well as transforming this door. So I'm finally changing out this doorknob. It doesn't match any of the finishes anymore since it's the only brass thing in here and painting the door this beautiful sage gray color. I'm painting this entire door using this $5 sample from Home Depot. So it's definitely a budget friendly little makeover thing that you can do to a space. I got inspired by seeing this picture on Instagram. I love the color of the door. So I thought it would look really nice in here as well. To be honest, this was my first time painting a door. This makeover actually had a ton of firsts in it, but this made me want to paint every single door in the house. I love the way it looks. A colored door is so in right now, so definitely try it out if you guys want to try something new in your space. If you don't want to paint all your walls, maybe just try painting your door. So once the door was dry, I put in a new doorknob and that way all the metals in the bathroom match and it just makes everything look new and fresh. So that was definitely a great addition to this space as well. So it's the last and final day of this makeover. I've finished all of the big changes in here. Now it's time to decorate, put things on the walls, bring in all of our bathroom accessories and show you guys the end result. I'm gonna go grab my mom and show her her brand new bathroom. Okay, are you ready to see? I am. <laughs> Come see. It's very exciting. I know you've been busy. So busy. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Is And all the decor. Oh, that's and check out it. the door, Dan. That was not oh, nice. Oh, right. nice job painting the door. Isn't it that's nice? Outstanding. All the greens really blend nicely. Look yeah. At this floor. I know. The floor is incredible. Oh I goodness. literally can't that's get over it. That's an amazing it. job. Right? I never thought it would come out like that. I know. He was I had, pretty I had weary. my reservations, but. It's a wonderful it's, looking job. I know. I'm sure a lot of people would, but I think it's so cool. Like, why not try it? You can just remove it. Exactly. Oh, well, I felt like I walked into a designer bathroom, <laughs> don't you? Exactly. You guys look good in here. You look younger in here. Do we? It's the light. <laughs> it's the light. You obviously had a vision again, right? Like, there's, there's, there's definitely no way a vision. that I would have put all of this together. There's, like, that's, that's why I give you these rooms, that you can just do what you want, and I know 
I'll never be disappointed. Now all the upstairs bedrooms and bathroom are done. Yours is next, your next bathroom. I can see, can you picture that? Mm -hmm. See, we can redo that floor because we've got an ugly green floor. Yeah. And we can we can maybe even change that because I don't like anything about what I picked many years ago. This is really modern. I love this love color. That. And just changing this just makes it look new. I love it. Yeah. Great job. Thanks. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's it for this extreme renter friendly, budget friendly bathroom makeover all under $400. Guys, I actually did it. I added up all the costs of flooring, the countertops, paint, hardware, decorative features, and I spent, wrote down on the sticky note, $396.72. We did it! I can't believe it. Usually if you were to do like a bathroom makeover, you'd be spending probably like $3,000 minimum. So I saved so much money by transforming this space in really budget friendly ways. Nothing in here is really permanent, so that's really exciting as well. If we want to change it back to the way it was, which we don't, <laughs> we easily can. So it's just such a flexible way of decorating a space, making it your own. And I hope this video helped you guys and inspired you on what you can do to your dated bathroom. I know a ton of us have them, whether it be a 90s bathroom, a 60s bathroom, we all have some kind of space that's outdated. So I hope you guys can take away some of these ideas from this video and apply them to your home because trust me, it will go such a long way and it is so much fun. It is so easy. So if you enjoyed watching this makeover, definitely give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Click the red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned on so you never miss an upcoming video. I upload so many videos on how you can improve your home in budget-friendly ways through home decor, organization, cleaning, full room makeovers. So if you guys are into that, make sure you're a part of my channel. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.